Hey, what's going on everybody? Back here with another video. This video I'm talking about my Redbubble sales and profits, how much I made in the short month of February. February is surprisingly actually a really good month for me. I took advantage of some trends, which I talked about in my trends video that I put out a couple weeks, still getting sales on those trends. So if you haven't checked out that video, definitely check that one out. I'll link it in the top of the description here but still capitalizing on those and also just had um, some of my old designs pop off a little bit. So in this video, I'm gonna go through my sales and I'll show you guys some of the designs even that I sold and talk a little bit about what is working and some things I'm gonna try for March. So let's go ahead and get into my computer. I'll start breaking down these sales, show you guys some cool new charts and stuff to make it a little easier to see. But here we are in my computer here. So I'm on just the sales page here. So this was actually my first sale in February on February 1st, um, a t-shirt sale. So again, most of my sales come from t-shirts. It's kind of a trend uh, for me, but I think I get the most amount of sales and the most profit per sale on t-shirts. So I really focus my designs on t-shirts. I recommend that you guys too, even though there is a lot of mask and sticker sales, you can see again, 547 profit for a t-shirt. And then we come up here for a mask sale, which is only 266. So less than half uh, the income we're getting on a mask versus t-shirt. And then obviously a sticker is gonna be around a dollar in profit. I guess depending on what stickers you sell, I think in here I had some really expensive stickers sell and I don't even exactly know what those were and I'll talk about that a little more. But so yeah, I focus more on the t-shirt aspect but definitely just throw your designs up on everything because you never know what's gonna sell. I definitely had some weird sales in here as well and tapped into the overseas market, basically worldwide now we can see Germany, in Australia and the UK really was hitting hard for the first and second week of February. And I think they capitalized on some trends that I didn't even know were like super trending in Australia and overseas, to be honest. But that definitely worked out for me. And then this one is a cool sale here. So some throw pillows. I don't even know if I've sold pillows before, but this person bought four pillows for almost $80. So they spent a lot of money and that was a $14.28 profit sale for just one sale. So, so again, just reiterating that you wanna just throw it up on everything, even if you think pillows might not sell. Made $14 in a month on a pillow here. And I think I even had more pillow sales. We'll see as I keep scrolling up. Um, you can see another shirt. I'm not sure why in Australia they're only paying $19, um, which is kind of weird, but it made my profit margin lower. So as we scroll up, you can see stickers, masks, t-shirts are really where we're coming from. And another thing I've been stressing here is sweatshirts. So definitely try to get some sweatshirt sales, especially while it's still the winter months. You can see that's $10 profit on just one quantity sweatshirt. So huge profit margins on your sweatshirt. So definitely try to focus on some of those, maybe even making your default item. So keep scrolling up here. I had a mug sale, I think my first ever mug sale. It's only about $2, but I found a new way to um, put your template photo on a mug and I definitely recommend if you choose like the middle option where the design actually faces the front for the display picture, you're gonna wanna do that on your mugs. Not sure if that's why this one's sold, but I definitely recommend doing that. So coming up even farther here, still in February, we had 32 individual sales, not including things like this, which have two, that would just count as one. So 32 uh, purchases, but it could be more than one product in February. I think that might be a record for me of 32 different sales. Um, but yeah, you can see another throw pillow, which is cool, almost $4. Uh, something in Spain, a long t-shirt, which is $6. So 
the long t-shirts and hoodies and sweatshirts are really high profit margin and premium t-shirt $40 someone paid $40 for a t-shirt it's absurd all right now I'm pulling up a couple text only designs that I made sales on I didn't think that text only designs did that well on Redbubble but I made five or six text only design sales so I'm going to start uploading those more those are more things that I upload to March by Amazon but you can see as we open this up super basic it just says it's only money kind of like a gambling sports betting phrase and a gambling grandma so I really went hard on gambling I guess um, it's really popping off especially in the United States so just some text only just play around with some fonts and some different phrases I mean you guys can even steal these um, they're getting sales but um, yeah I just wanted to show you guys that text only designs do work on Redbubble as well as Merch by Amazon so something to think about is adding those designs in there super easy and simple to make all right so throwing these pie charts up on the screen here you can see that this is just number of sales by type of product and they didn't get all the throw pillows in here because I had an order of four so basically two orders but I actually sold five throw pillows so this doesn't give a really good representation but you can see that t-shirts sold nine mass nine so those were tied for the top and then stickers at eight so those three were the top sellers then had some random throw pillows a long t-shirt that pullover sweatshirt a mug and a greeting card so this kind of breaks it down basically what I'm selling so mostly mass t-shirts and stickers like the three most popular products on Redbubble but if we come over throw this other chart up you can see actually how much profit I made per design here so so you can see t-shirts the piece of the pie is the biggest here $43 just on t-shirts and mass $24 so still a good amount of profits per mass definitely cool to focus on shirts and mask and then those throw pillows those random five pillows I sold $18 which is cool and then the miscellaneous clothes the, the sweatshirt and long t-shirts were totaled up about $16 and stickers actually made $17 which isn't that bad for eight sticker sales getting but a lot of people ordered more than one sticker in a sale so so good to see just this breakdown here and then you can see the total number in the middle is hundred and twenty one dollars in sales for February um, actually profit for February so pretty good month of February I think January was about fifty dollars so hopefully in March we can keep this rolling get up to 150 maybe 200 and actually make some real money off of Redbubble um, it's been pretty good just letting these designs ride that I have uploaded already I have about 200 designs and then also capitalizing on some trends so if you haven't checked out the trends video definitely check that one out you can get some nice sales still getting sales on those trends that's going to be linked in the top of the description and if you enjoy this kind of video and like print on demand stuff as well as other finance and business ideas to make money online definitely like the video and subscribe to the channel and i'll see you guys in another one another day another beer